I'll call this <laughs> meeting to order. And I need to add to the agenda uh, opening paving bids under the road foreman's report. So we'll uh, have that. Uh, our first order of business, uh, the minutes from May 10th, we don't have, uh, we need Steve Glayback here in order to approve those, to have three votes from the three people here. Uh, so we'll have to uh, kick that down the road and do it in our next meeting. The next meeting, which will be June 7th? Yes. Oh, and you're taking minutes, right? I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk more slowly. No, that's <laughs> Okay. Um, well, then let's go on to bills for payment. We have warrant 24, 24P. We have a recreation board number nine and the Conservation Commission, number six. All right, I'll move that we approve Warrant 24, Warrant 24P, Rec Board number nine, and the Conservation Committee number six. And I'll second that motion. Okay, any discussion? All right, the Warrant 24 is for $30,072.04, and that, the big items in that, uh, SAM, uh, tires for the highway department, uh, payroll transfers, we have the sheriff's monthly bill, um, some culverts, uh, and plow blades, with that for the greater? Um, or the actual snow plows, and there's going to be a greater blade also. Okay, in. all right. Um, and then there was uh, the Nemrix <coughs> setting up uh, some hardware in the office here, and that was going to be a pass-through from the uh, emergency management grant that we got. So, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Uh, we have no visitors for public comments right now. Let's go to the road foreman's report. And Start with Let's start with the paint. Yep. Open some of these guys. So we're just going to open these tonight, look them over, and we'll award them at our <coughs> next meeting. June 7th? June yes. 7th. The select board should get itself a letter opener. <laughs> That well, you know, I used my pocket knife one night, but uh, I love ended up cutting the bit in half. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> so I, I see. Okay. Uh, Home, Homeland Security has taken it away from me, so there's a, <laughs> I can't get it through the metal detector on the way in anymore. So what do we have? Well, just ballpark figures, and then we'll do the fine. Uh, fine okay. tooth. All right, Vermont Road Works would be 6401 per ton in place. 6401 per ton? Yes. Okay. I have lane construction uh, at $78.35. 78 dollars 35 cents. 78 and 35 Yes. Per ton. Yep. Okay. Um, so I want to make sure I get this right. So this is EME Management Inc. And its price per ton for asphalt is $59.85. But there's a note above it, just quickly looking at it, that just says um, pricing is based on current VTrans liquid asphalt index and is adjustable. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's how yeah. they pretty all adjust. Okay. So what company is that? Is that um, Springfield. 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 Yeah. Okay. D DBA Springfield. Paper. I'm sorry. Can you just tell me that number one more time? Uh, Fifty-nine eighty-five. Thank you. Should we? Does it matter what the amount is? Like tonnage? Should, we, should they all be um, some, similar? No. Yeah, they should be all similar. Uh, I looked at over afterwards. Okay. Um, I don't know if they all actually have a, the tonnage. What's going to be used? Okay. Um, on it. Okay. So let me just check this. So Vermont Roadworks was uh, $64.01 per ton. Yes. Lane construction was $78.35 per ton. That's right. Springfield paving, $59.85 per ton. Correct. Okay, thank you. 
Well, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Nice to go. Yep. Okay. We're gonna, uh, yeah. We'll yeah. award these on June 7th. Right. So don't you know, Is that me? Oh, oh. Uh, I don't, I don't think, no, no, we're all set. These are uh, three bidders that bid all the time. Um, okay. And he's got a higher tone. <coughs> um, okay. It's hard to tell which one is actually mm -hmm. going to get a hundred more tones. Um, because they're usually tones. fairly close. I guess you can do that. So. Lee can deal with that. Do I you, know. uh, just for the minutes, do you remember who those? Yes. Who oh, right. That, I didn't write that, that was um, uh, Vermont Road Works and Lane I Construction. Know their names? You know. um, Brian is Lane, I can't remember. Um, um, Vermont Road Works. It's Brian Siano, S I A N O, is oh. Lane. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He might be on this, this card. Just while Lee's looking at that, did each one of these also include the certificate of liability? Is that something we request? I have it here. Okay. Um, they need to have it before they pay it for sure. Okay. Yeah, there's one here. Okay. So oh, I guess we say a representative from yeah. Vermont Reports. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry about that. Oh, um, I should have. Um, I thought they were going to stay because last yeah. time we asked questions and they kind of contributed. Oh, okay. Um, Springfield Paving did do our paving last year. Um, okay. If you were wondering. Mm -hmm. um, but. And so the other was a, from Vermont Road Works. Yeah, yes. That's right. okay. um, <coughs> yeah, and the person that's on it, the card is actually not him. So, okay. you know, for sure. But. Okay, so you'll take this and. In yep. your spare time, you're going to prepare a spreadsheet. Yeah. Yep. Good. Spreadsheet, um, and of course, Springfield Haven. He just requested me to let him know what everyone else bid tonight. Um, so I'll give him a call. Okay. Um, and let him know that we'll let him know. In a couple weeks. Okay. Okay. So Lee's going to create a spreadsheet. Um, and and you're gonna um, so we can make a decision next on um, June seventh. And you're gonna call Springfield. Ah uh, yes. <coughs> okay. So uh, we got a letter from uh, Wyndham Regional Commission uh, regarding the hydro connected roads. Yes. Nice map, and they were very uh, passing on uh, compliments that uh, mm -hmm. you received at uh, the meeting. Someone thought you were, uh, I think they said, uh, <laughs> a, a rock star. Rock star. <laughs> star is the yeah. 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 rock star of the road. So, some days, some days not. <laughs> well, I guess you were rock, <laughs> rocking at this meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice compliment, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I get along good with the uh, Wyndham um, Wyndham Regional um, mapping person Jeff. Mm -hmm. We have a um, lot of meetings with Wyndham Regional Commission, and maybe we could send you to more of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of meetings, on that same note, there's um there's that meeting on Wednesday, right, the thirtieth. Whatever day that is. Yeah, or Tuesday. Tuesday the 30th yes. up in Townsend. Yes. Um, if anyone wanted to go to it, um, I think feel so, free. Do you think Steve's busy? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's good. it's on this permitting um, system um, with these. Uh, um, is that the X64? Yes. Okay. Um, and they did say that one is more for select boards um, if they if they are interested. Um, I, the information they gave me, I think, I think they're getting it more under control and I, I, it doesn't look as bad to me now. When is it? Um, the 30th, uh, noon at the Townsend, I think the offices or town hall. And you're actually supposed to call Wyndham Regional Erica for reservations. Okay. Or, um, 
numbers in this one or something. Okay. It's, it's not a possibility um, for me. Towns in at the town hall, you said? Yeah. Are you gonna be there? Um isn't that if, Monday? Isn't that a if Monday? one of you were going to go up, I think I would. No, but they're going to go over the same information I just went to that last okay. class on. Yeah. Um, I signed up for it, yeah. but I was thinking about that. Okay, I will. Um, <laughs> let me try to give you a call like later this week to see, because okay. I may try to go. If I don't know if Steve's going to try to go or not, but yeah, um, yeah, I may try to go if it's that Act 64 information. Yes. Um, okay. That would be great. I can go over it a little bit. Um, what they told us at that class, but this this map with the uh, hydro connected roads, so they're doing segments of our roads that actually connect with waterways, mm -hmm. and <coughs> this grant that we received um, to do this erosion control plan, yep. that's what they're going to be looking at. They're going to go down the road. They're going to look at one of these spots. They'll come up with a recommendation or say it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, it's all going to be placed on a spreadsheet. Just like our um, culvert inventory, or um, now like more like our culvert inventory. So when we complete a project on this in this section, yeah. we all we do is change it on there, and then I think it's going to actually go out like an online database, mm -hmm. so they can tell that we've actually been going down through these. Yeah. Um, the good thing is, is it it goes over everywhere pretty much where we want to apply for these grants. So they say the same information on these sheets can be used for the grant, to mm -hmm. apply for the grant. Um, and then we just need a plan. You know, we're gonna do five of these a year. Right. We got 20 years to do it. Yep. Um, and I think that's fairly um, self -ex All right, I think it will actually go pretty good. Yep. Do you um, know, um, uh, can you just send me or just send me a text with her name and phone number yep. if I got a call? To RSVP. Right. Yeah. Um, you want to do that, please? So can I ask a question? So this agenda item, Wyndham Regional Commission, Hydro Connected Roads, Letter and Map, mm -hmm. um, that's in this folder? You know, it had been. The map wasn't in there. It, uh, it, I have it in my but folder. But I see okay. the letter. Yeah, it was yeah. in the folder and, and the letter, but um, I put it in last Friday. Okay. But, um, there is one I, in my folder. Yeah, okay. here, here's the letter, but okay. the, the map is missing. Okay. From I'm, I'm going to get a better one. I, okay. I just requested one when we were at that meeting Okay. because I hadn't seen it and I, was, I didn't really know what they're talking about. So, um, But I think it's moving on. They're talking about it's going to be a uh, $2,000 in the, these numbers money very little bit, but each town's gonna be charged two thousand dollars. But then they're going to they're in the works um, of going to a um, based on your mileage in town. So the high mileage towns might have to pay more for this permit and we might have to pay a little less. <clears throat> Even though I heard the average town has like um, fifty miles and we have sixty four. So we might actually be a little bit higher than the two thousand. Um, um, want to discontinue a couple right, of Right, exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so I think, I think we're on our way there um, as far as understanding it. We're going to get the plan done by Wyndham Regional um, with some help from us. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we're looking for. Once we get that, then it's just a matter of figuring out which ones are worst and which ones we want to do first. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't, I don't it's definitely it came to sense there. Yeah. Um, on that, um, so that was a category A. So that was eight thousand dollars. We have to do twenty percent in kind on it. Um, so that's all set with one regional. The next one we got, we got received that we got our forty thousand for Wickaby Hill Road this year. I think we applied for it one or two other years, but um, so that's forty thousand. Um, the total price that I had figured out was sixty thousand, but that was our incline going towards it. Um, I don't know if ever. Well, yeah, we drove it, mm -hmm. but that first section um, uh, digging the bank out, uh, rip wrapping the bank. Mm -hmm. um, 
I actually met with Alan May from the Better Back Roads program today and went over and looked at the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, he signs the checks, or he issues the checks, so that's the guy we want mm -hmm. <laughs> to be on our side, I guess. Um, so we've done all right this year. That way, there's uh, $48,000 in grants. So is that going to be in this fiscal year? Yes, you have two years. Um, I told him that uh, I would like to get it done um, this year just in case something comes up next. Mm -hmm. um, and he agrees that, you know, you get it, you might as well do it. Um, you could have a flood next year and then lose the money if you don't use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what was the first one, Lee? Um, that's a Category A erosion inventory grant. And that was for eight? Eight thousand, yes. Okay. Yes, and Wyndham Regional is already, um, I'm sure they're going to send up a little letter saying that we have to sign up with them, but they're, they're planning on doing that work mm -hmm. for us. Um, all right, so, that's all good. All right, so we've completed the... Um, Cover bridge project, um, and that was um, removing the ledge and and fill. And uh, we actually tried hydro seating for the first time, yes. being that it was steep. I've never seen it done before. I was over there when they did it, um, so I'm hoping it comes in nice. And uh, and then at the end of the project, the telephone company says, "Oh yeah, well we'll, we'll um, probably move the pole for you." <laughs> So we might end up having to go back over and do a little bit more work after they move the pole. Um, so, but it, it that will be good and it will get rid of more water. So it's it's a good thing. Are you now are you going to go back and do this like put the rip wrap in that try little ditch you created? Just um, it's all wet. Well, a lot of it's all ledge. Yeah. Once it dries up, we can do a little bit more work. It was just so soft. Right. Um, that. Yeah. Just wondering how much is going to run off the bank and then refill in, I don't know. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's it's still, um, you could probably spend another 10000 over there yeah. or 7000 and yeah. and um, it's it's not a very good spot. No. Yeah, and cool. we actually applied for the Category C on that um, a while ago, um, and that was for like 25000 or $20,000, um, but... Um, we didn't get it, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, that's a good start, I mean, it, oh, right. because of that, it's a lot of standing water on that corner. Yes. And it seems to have gotten rid of it. Yeah, so. I think it's I think it's gonna work well, yeah. or work. Yep. Yeah. Um, so our other two projects, Bunker Hill, um, we're just, we wanted to get that one completed, find out what our budget is again, um, and then, uh, and I we're still planning on that. And the telephone wires on East West Road and Miller Road, mm -hmm. they still haven't been moved. But once they get moved off the old pole, then we'll... Um, Belco said they could come right in any time they got moved and we'd get that project done. Mm -hmm. So... What, how are you calling that project? Um, East West Road and Miller Road intersection stumps, I would say. And that's to increase visibility. Yes, so yes. That's coming up. Yeah, that's pretty much. And the telephone way. wires have to be moved first before you can do anything. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Zeke. So, um, I believe next Tuesday we should be back up to our full, um, full time crew, working. Um, and that's if everything goes good, and I believe it will. But. Um, that's the plan. Um, the next um, um, thing is, is um, on the gravel pit down there at uh, Renault's, um, we noticed this year that there wasn't very um, uh, the greatest gravel. Um, and so it started me thinking and um, we went up on top and did some more test boring um, 
and uh, come to find out with the test boring we did, we did it with a fairly big excavator, um, that pretty much the gravel's um, 12 feet to 16 feet deep, and then that's it. It's, it's sand underneath it. Mm -hmm. um, and then so I, we got, I brought down the copies of the um, borings that they did in 2000, um, where they actually had a engineering firm with them. But reading that, they did them with the town's backhoe, so they were only going down less than that. Um, well, 15 feet. Um, so that's the engineer for Stevens, or um, whoever was was reading those test borings. Um, they were thinking that um, you know the, the gravel goes to the bottom, and obviously um, we might come into a pocket of it. But um, um, and doing the math up top um, for that surface um, uh, would taking out. Uh, we're allowed 7,500 yards a year, putting the same, and then Renard is 15,000. Um, it only gives us um, like six years of gravel left. Um, and then um, pretty much what would be, this is right in the very beginning stages. We did this on like Monday. Um, but I want to, I want to make sure that, that if there's a couple select board members who want to be on these meetings when we have them with uh, Renards, and uh, um, I just as soon have somebody else there with me, um, because I, I believe it's um, I, I believe it's our prerogative to get our um, uh, you know seventy five hundred yards for the next six years because we bought into that side of the pit for the permits. And I don't think we should bail on it or or pay a lot higher price until that's gone. Um, so there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there. And it's um, definitely would like to, um, I don't know who might be interested in, in doing this, um, but It's how often yeah, it's do you talk scary. and you guys get together? Um, well, on this, it was kind of like when we noticed it, it was kind of everyone had the, that time that they could meet mm -hmm. and, and do these borings and stuff. Um, but we can pretty much do it whenever somebody is interested in doing it. And, <laughs> and besides having, I, b I believe it's, you know, Dwayne would need to be there, of course. Mm -hmm. And, um, even if it's just a walk through of the pit, yep. showing, you know, that would be the first step. The second step would be is um, how we're going to get the gravel. You know, you have this this face, this fifty foot face, and then you've got fourteen feet of gravel all the way across the top. How are we going to retrieve that? Um, so that's that's a Dwayne runs the gravel pit mm -hmm. for or not. Right. And um, you know that's his decision, pretty much. But I do believe that the, a quarter of that um, is ours. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 <clears throat> you know, live nearby, so yeah. uh, you'd be interested. Sure. sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm I used to yeah. been following yeah. us for a while, yeah. so. Did you want to meet? I would. I would I'd, I'd certainly, if I'm available, I'd like and, to just go as well. And if there's so certain days where are better, yeah. I can never remember. You're around more the beginning of the weekish. Yeah. Prior I'll, to yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. So just yeah. out of curiosity, I mean, this is just common sense or yeah. a, a, a obvious question that I can answer. You know, so the, the where they've already excavated that was gravel all the way down to the floor, and as you went further south, it turns into sand. Is that what happened? That's what um, they found. It was, it, they have been taking sand out too. Yep. So it hasn't just like started right now. Right. I think it's, they've probably taken out, I don't know how many yards, yeah. but they're, they're to the Hidden Acres side of the gravel pit that we had bought into. Yep. Um, so, um, yeah, it's kind of, 
it kind of because the total of depth of that is how deep like 70 feet just say so and only 12 feet of it is gravel right right and 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 the and we can talk about this at the meeting too but it, it's one of the things that um and i don't want to you know if you take the gravel off then you're left with a big sand right yeah um, that sand have any value um I, they sell it. Yeah, they do yeah. sell it. Um, I don't know what the profit margin is. Right, between. but they'll still they can right. Still excavate. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but sand for us, we have ten years left on our lease at Carpenter, yeah. and then we have two five-year options. Yeah. So we could potentially, and that's all set up for us right this second. Yeah. You know, so um, I don't see why we wouldn't renew the lease. Right. And it's a very good price since we've got all of it opened up. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So for 20 years, I don't believe we need, we don't need another sand. source of sand. Right. 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 But we're on the hunt for more gravel. We, yeah, <laughs> and that's the other thing is if anyone thinks of areas, um, you know, it's sad to say because it's only been five years or four years. Yeah. Um, or, or we're going to end up paying like you know, all the other towns, um, mm -hmm. if they process ledge for us. Um, I'm having them give us prices on that. I'm having mm -hmm. prices on, um, um, they're actually digging on S and B side, you know, the north side of the pit for gravel also. Mm -hmm. And they're still making um, quality gravel there. Yeah. So, um, you know, buying that from them. Um, Sounds like a select board road trip. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Remember right. we did uh, that last year. Yes. I think mm -hmm. Maybe the gravel pits. The yeah. Yeah. Field trip this um, year. Oh yeah. Sure. We could bring. I mean, with all the sand there, there we could bring. Yeah. Our picnic. And, right. Yeah. Um, sand box. I'll be cooking. Suntan <laughs> lotion and yeah, make a day of it. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention, and, and I think we yes. should. And 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 if it's only six years, I think we should be. Um, either figuring out if we're just going to take and increase our budget for gravel by, you know, it's, um, it'd be by about, I would say about a third more um, if we had to buy the material from somebody. Mm -hmm. um, or, yeah, a third, yeah, a third more, I'd say. You're pretty close. Or find another place. Right, right. And then, you know, there's the cost of opening it. Opening it. And I don't think we're going to find anywhere along Route 5, so it's, I think, if we do it anywhere besides there, which necessarily I don't disagree with, you know, it'd be pretty much, you know, on us. Um, you know, I don't, you wouldn't find a partner to, um, but it might last longer also than yeah, just us. Isn't Putney in the same boat, though? Yes. Yep. Yep, they're going to be. Um, and I, I know I'm thinking, you know, I'm trying to. That's play, great. I'm planning. It's good. Leave for the ten-year plan or yeah. whatever, you know, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. And even then, it like the gravel we got this year wasn't as good, and it was like I was freaking out a little bit. And then that's where it all it all came from. Um, mm -hmm. So. But. All right. I think that was it. I said no, that's okay. Right. Well, all right. Thank you, Lee. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Thanks, to you. Yep. <coughs> okay. Moving on. Any, uh, anything under correspondence for information you want to go over? Um, under correspondence for discussion or action. Uh, there's the Scott Farm Act 250, uh, and Dan Norman's appeal. There's nothing really to act on. Is there any time frame or next steps that we should know about? Um, not that I'm aware. I think uh, it's just waiting to hear back from, I think, the Act 250 for scheduling. Under new business, uh, the listers, 
are requesting, would like to request from uh, the state. And uh, I'm trying to think what who actually they're requesting, making a request to. Um, okay. Uh, property valuation and review. They are looking to get a 30-day extension to complete the filing of the preliminary grand list. And they're just uh, running a little behind. They might just be a week behind, but it's, you know, you either get it in on time or you request a 30-day mm -hmm. extension, so. I would move that we uh, request a 30-day extension to file um, the grand list. I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? All there's no there's no cost or there's no no, no. demerits or anything. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And that just I used to be a lot better at multitasking than I am. I can't slow down. <laughs> you know the multitasking though is a misnomer. I it's, know it just is. means you're doing more things I less know. well. I know. I, <laughs> yeah. It just means I'm doing less things slower. <laughs> so we got um, uh, Sam Farwell, a member of the Planning Commission, uh, would like to, uh, this is a, they're coming up to a deadline of May 31st for the municipal planning grant monies that they have. He'd like to take um, some of that money to uh, format the uh, town plan that they are working on. Um, and uh, just wants our approval to do that to get it to the document print ready. Was this, is this either, this is like $500 to either use it or it goes away, yeah, right? Yeah, use so it or, so, yeah. And it, this is a, something that they have decided, reformatting that based on all the people who have touched it. This is a good use of that money to try to get this document in a workable format. Yeah, that's what the, he says in the letter. And um, I asked, just because he, it's coming to us without, um, it would have been brought up at their next uh, planning commission to get the whole board behind it, but um, that didn't happen. So um, I just sent an email to planning commissioners just asking, you know, are they on board with this? Mm -hmm. And heard from um, at least um, four members that, mm -hmm they were good to go. Yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll make the motion. I don't know. So I'll, I move we approve the request to spend the $500 as requested by Sam Farwell for reformatting of the town plan. I'll, I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? I think it's, so, if, yeah, I think it's a great use. Some, Anyway, I think reformatting that to where it's a usable document is a great idea. But I do too. I think it's, uh, you know, we have the money to do it, we have the person to do it. There's a lot of content. It's all kind of cobbled together. I think it'll just make it easier going forward. And just because it says print ready, it doesn't, it's not like in a form that one can't, edit, you know, it's not like a PDF that then gets, you know, um, crystallized in time. Right. It's, it's just creating a formatted Word document that then can be worked on by other people. Right. And I take it it's more complicated than select all. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's making yeah. headings and well, figuring out margins yeah. and varying skill levels of which yeah. you know, instead of tab we space or you know, yeah. something it's all messed up right i, I think it's yeah thank god someone has the skill to do that so and this is the planning commission's yeah. request yes um well it's you know oh actually it was the chair is the planning well he's not he's not the chair anymore oh, so okay 
But it did have support from yeah. a variety the, of planning. The, the chair and right. a couple of other members. Right. Yeah. yeah. At least that's as far as this afternoon, but that's who I heard back from. And, I, and I, you may have already mentioned, but and the key is this will expire before our next meeting, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. So and we'll before their next meeting right. on the 6th. So, all right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, I'll let him know um, that we've approved that. We got a letter from uh, Mary Ann Runge, the school nurse, obviously elementary. Uh, she's requesting funds from the Miller Fund. Uh, she'd like to uh, use some of those funds to help six Dumberston students attend Green Mountain Camp. Um, and there is a second request for funds for a student to attend uh, Epic Adventure Camp. I guess that's a camp for uh, boys, or this is a, I mean, a co-ed camp, but uh, this is a boy that would attend. So she's requesting a total of uh, 1,300. So, oh, hold on just a sec. So I'm not seeing the Miller Fund on the agenda. Uh, there was a third edition of the agenda that, uh, that okay. came out on uh, the nice Miller Fund. Yeah, I might not have started with the right and so it's under new business request under town draft okay well i don't know if somebody wants to i just let me i look through this a little bit i can either go through this now or if somebody wants to make a motion first but these are the guidelines for the Miller fund that are from 2009 so i don't think they've been updated for um, what eight years or so, but mm -hmm. a couple of things in here, you know, um, we did this last year. I know we did it for the children to go to this thing. Um, and it's obviously it's a worthy cause to, to help the, the kids go to the camps. I think that's important, but I guess my, as I looked at this today, you know, it's, we have kind of an obligation to be good stewards of this fund as well. And from these, um, uh, guidelines, you know, this talks about, um, to be consistent with the terms of the Miller bequest to the town, the total amount of grants awarded in any fiscal year shall not exceed the amount of interest earned by the fund, plus any donations into the fund during the previous fiscal year. Well, we're not going to get very far because we earned $13 a month right. last year with this yeah. fund. So now, again, these are guidelines, not rules. Um, and I just, I'm just, you know, it's easy for us because the balance right now is $102,096. Um, you know, it's down about three thousand dollars since two thousand fifteen. I guess it, as we look through this before we decide this, um, it's easy to sit here today with one hundred two thousand and spend. What is that? I'm going to public math. One hundred percent more than we take in, or a thousand, whatever. A lot more than yeah. we take in. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do that for ten years, and then you've got no principal left. So, I guess before we just it's. It's, it's a nice thing to just quickly say, hey, I want to, yes, this is a great idea. You know, I think we have to think of five years from now, six years from now, and how, you know, how can we, we just got to be careful. I'm not saying not do it. How do we spend well, this money and not erode, at what point do we stop taking into the principal, knowing that the fund is not receiving donations, not mm -hmm. being replenished? Right. Um, well, we just for, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you raised this because it's a concern I've long had, and and I think it was actually addressed in the uh, reserved funds investment policy that we adopted last year. Mm -hmm. um, I consider this an endowment fund, and um, you know, knowledgeable people don't take endowment funds and put them in bank accounts at 0.1%. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I think that this should be invested on, on a longer term basis in. Know, mutual funds that are invested in stocks that are going to, over the long haul, provide a substantially higher return. 
And then the protocol for using the f those funds is to only use the interest earned, not to use the capital. I mean, these are guidelines. The guidelines. Uh, right. Yeah, so, the guidelines. Um, yeah. yeah. I just and I, and I just bring it up for discussion because it's again, it's easy, you know, on boom times yeah. we've had before. And, you know, there's a lot of money gets right. spent, and then next thing you know, the, 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 the voted in here five or six, eight years from now, you know, they have much less to work with based on our actions today. I guess I just want to, I need to bring that up because we have to, if we're going to do it, I'm only going to feel comfortable knowing that we're, we're drawing down the principle that was not the intent of, and if you look at, um, it meets the school lunch program, but as you read the guidelines for his will, it's, you know, needy children, I mean, I could read the thing, but you don't, so I would suspect back in the day they, they, you know, it was a pair of shoes, a pair of glasses, maybe an emergency medical fund right. for someone. Mm -hmm. So I just, I don't want to, I'm not trying to diminish the, the value of going to the camps, you know, I mean, I went to the, for the state conservation camps when I was a kid, and they're fantastic, um, so probably a similar to what that goes here, but I don't want to, I want to not be a part of going too far astray of what the intent of this thing was myself. Mm -hmm. I need to bring that up. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I, I think having a fund of over a hundred thousand where we're making thirteen dollars a year uh, isn't right. Yeah. We should. Uh, there must be some safe way of Yeah, even, uh, yeah, uh, there's got to be, well, I, you know, I mean. Well, um, yeah, there is no safe way. Safe, safe, uh, well, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. What are we making a year? 30, 30. Well, I, I don't. I mean, I couldn't tell you where it is. I mean, I know there. Were, well, I, we're making. We made thirteen dollars a month. Was that basically oh. plus or minus some, oh, some a month. Month pennies? Oh, wow! <laughs> I thought it was thirteen for the year. No, right. thirteen dollars a month. No, okay. no, we make you know one hundred and wow. um, whatever that is forty six eight six dollars or something. Right, or but as I said, I mean that's like you know point one yeah. three right. percent. Yeah, you know, uh, and this um, could be making a couple hundred bucks a month. Right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it sure. would entail risk. Uh, yeah, but I think that, you know, I think that, I think it should be invested you know, for the long term. And you don't invest for the long term in, you know, low interest, you know, fixed income investments. Mm -hmm. So I guess the, the points on this are, do, is it time to, um, I guess reinvest the money. Do we need to like put that on the agenda? To I mean, is it time to? I, I don't know. These guidelines are from two thousand nine, but you can't stray too far from the man's will from nineteen thirty one. So, um, but I'll just say, just to get it, people who are watching, and this is if you believe everything you read on the internet, which everything there is true, right? But he gave this guy. He, um, so the Miller Fund, he put in just under thirteen thousand dollars in uh, nineteen thirty four, and. Based on three percent inflation, that would be like giving two hundred, just over two hundred thousand dollars today. So it was quite a generous donation, you know, back when this thing was started. And I just, I throw that out because I just want to make sure that we don't drive this thing into the ground and it goes away. So. Mm -hmm. I like your suggestion about putting it on a, a future agenda, and um, and I would propose uh, investing it in a. You know, you know, in a, like an S&P 500 fund, um, the substantial portion, mm -hmm. uh, understanding that it could decline significantly in value, but over the long term, you know, it would be expected to provide a substantially greater return than it is uh, right now. Mm -hmm. And okay. I, I think that would be authorized by the, uh, by the investment policy that we did adopt last year. Yeah. Okay. And so what would be the next step, or would someone like to do a little bit of research? I mean, we can put it on a future agenda, but let's maybe have a little more information at that point, or? Well, I mean, I'd like to look at the, uh, at the fund uh, policy, and mm -hmm. you know, maybe you and I could work together on this, but um, yeah, That'd be great. let's get it on a subsequent agenda. Okay. Uh, but I guess most immediately we have a request for right, right, right. right. So, um, for what's the uh, one thousand three hundred for yeah. scholarships for uh, seven kids. 
we made 130, we made 146 dollars in interest last year, roughly. Yeah. So your point is well taken. So I mean, as, as we, do we? So I guess the question begs: Do we want to fully fund this? Do we want to see if if we partially fund it? Is that you know going to help the kids you know go to the camp or? Um... I I have heard when we when this has come up in the past that they're quite conservative in what they request. They think carefully about it. They. You know, it's not done without real intention. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? I think two hundred. So this, I mean, this, when you, the letter, it's two hundred dollars per girl for the Green Mountain Camp, um, and then I think the camp is providing. So it's four twenty-five. They spend the night. So the camp is providing a little bit, and then you know the, mm -hmm. the families are providing some as well. So, mm -hmm. and then I think the other one is. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember. I mean, I guess where I was going was if we typically approved these requests, my suggestion would be to approve, fully approve this request, but we've had this discussion now, and so we would forewarn the people that make this request to us once a year, right? It just comes once a year, yeah. that we're going to look at this and reevaluate. Um, how it's invested and and think about the longer term so that they're aware of that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're not denying a request that in a different fashion than we have been doing. Mm -hmm. I, I think that makes good sense, Gerald. Yes, I, I would go along with that too. I think um, there's, um, you know, we can approve this today and say, okay, we've used 1300. Um, but next week there could be an emergency where uh, she would come back and, and say somebody you know, needs a pair of glasses. Yes, or, or yeah, or there's something. So we need to let her know now, sooner rather than later, that we're reevaluating how this fund is being mm -hmm. expended. Right. right. Does she have a copy of that? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. sure. You know, there w was, I think, back around that time. Maybe a little before, um, two thousand six or something. Uh, they um, they were worried they had um, they had the select board at that time had gotten advice that they had to spend a certain amount each year or the endowment would be, so they were looking to give Expand. money away and uh, were ready to fund just about anything and then it. What reigned back in, and they tried to um, be more conservative in what they were doing, and um, and that's when the uh, trying to just spend no more than what the interest was, and probably back then it was probably um, in the you know thousand two thousand dollar a year range. Right, because interest rates were a lot higher back then. Yeah. Yeah, and so, and I don't recall that there were requests for camps. It was more, you know, the eyeglasses or yeah. um, you know, smaller requests. We did the camp last year. Had there been previous requests for camps, or was last no, year the first year? Um, I think there have been requests for camps in the past, um, but I think this is the second year that I remember that we've been doing this, yeah. gotten a request like this. And, you know, is there uh, a means test? Uh, I'm mean, going to take it these are yeah, kids that they, they, they need use help, the, right? um, school lunch. Yeah, I mean, that's where okay. we have yeah. to trust the person. Yeah. Sure. That's so part of the policy. So that from his, the, the will, it's to be used, expended by them, the select board, for the temporary care of needy minor children in the town of Dummerston. That's from his will. And then mm -hmm. from the, the policy, the first thing I read you is, you know, don't you spend what you interest no more. Um, then eligibility, it's any needy minor child uh, whose parents are legal residents of Dummerston shall be eligible to apply for, for a grant from the Miller Fund. The child shall meet the need, the need criteria through eligibility for the free or reduced lunch hour program verified by the school mm -hmm. official, which that's yep. uh, in there. I understand. Um, so, I mean, there, there's... And who donated this money? 
So this is Fred Miller. Fred, Fred Miller. Miller. Yeah. Okay. And his okay. will is 1931. Uh -huh. And I believe when I looked at the, the fund, by the time it all got, a, you know, the estate was settled, it said 1934 is when it was, I think, turned over to the town before it was mm -hmm. run by a, like mm -hmm. a board of trustees mm -hmm. or something. So um, if we were to um, approve this expenditure, the person who tells um, the nurse could also let her know of our discussion mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, how about a motion? Um, I, I move we request uh, approve the request for disbursement for the camps scholarships from the uh, Miller Fund in the aggregate amount of I believe it's thirteen hundred dollars. That's what I think it is. Yes. I'll second that. Okay, now any discussion? <laughs> uh, further I, discussion. <laughs> I, think, I think that horse has left the barn. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And can you give me a copy of that? Sure. Okay, or well, we could do it tonight or something. So. Okay. All right. So you're going to, you and Hugh are going to get some more information, and we'll yep. have this on the agenda sure. in the future. Yep. Yep. All right, so want to move on to unfinished business. Um, we talked about the um, telecommunications ordinance that we have in town. Gosh, it's long. And um, that it was uh, possibly outdated and uh, we talked about the, you know, that the Planning Commission had been working on uh, this, and we got, um, oh, it would be in the yellow folder, uh, from the Planning Commission, um, Sam Farwell and Andrew McFarland had been working on this, maybe other members also. Um, so this is the draft that they have that's been up Here's another copy if somebody wants to look at it. Updated. Um, and the plan is that this will be taken to a public hearing the next time they have a public hearing on you no know, zoning bylaw update. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just waiting in the wings. And um, it's several pages smaller, um, which is, might be a good thing, and it's so, uh, but I haven't really compared them uh, side by side to know what the content, but at least we, we know that, okay, this is waiting. Um, were, these, were these emailed to the support account? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was? Okay. I just, I'll dig through and find it. So. Well, you can take that print copy if you want it. Okay. Um, it's, so some point this will come before the public it will be, um, but by the Planning Commission? By the Planning Commission. Okay. Um, the question would be then, if it were approved, it would come to the Select Board for approval. Um, if approved by the Planning Commission? Um, the process goes for bylaw revisions. Uh, planning Commission would hold a public hearing, take public comment, maybe revise, uh, and then finalize it. It would then go to the select board. Select board would hold a public hearing. In our wisdom, you know, either revise it or change it or send it back to the planning commission. It's one of our options. Uh, and possibly eventually approve it. So that would, so I'm just, I don't know how we would uh, rescind or whether this would become our new ordinance or... I would think it would supersede the yeah, existing one. Yes, okay. So that's the, the, how that works. Technically, I wasn't quite sure of, but that, I guess we have time to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So... Um, would it be useful to have the Planning Commission um, come to us with 
some of the issues and have us discuss it together or is it better just to let the planning commission hold a public hearing and then we attend the public hearing I, I and we're listening be, as yeah. well and yeah okay you know when this gets closer to being part of a public hearing they're going to combine it with other topics that they mm -hmm. want to have um, if uh, they want to meet with us or have uh, to go over everything that they're bringing. Mm -hmm. that, they've done that in the past okay. where we've, we've gotten together. And is there anything that anyone knows about that makes this particularly they're, important they're, to address well, sooner yeah, rather than later? There was a rumor that someone was uh, thinking of uh, um, you know, leasing their land or, mm -hmm. or a cell tower. Um, and so there was a scramble to find the existing, or, the existing ordinance mm -hmm. and um, find out where we were in the process of revising mm -hmm. the bylaw. And apparently, um, you know, this rumor went nowhere. Okay. So it was... But it, we do think that this is somewhat outdated, and we know the Planning Commission is working on it, although yeah. it's not their top priority. Yes, they had done a lot of work and actually written this draft, um, gee, maybe last summer or last fall. Uh, not so, so long it's, ago. it's sitting in there uh, on their desk waiting for the next bylaw hearing. Yeah. Didn't I read something in there, though? Um, and, and I think I'm remembering also that the state has already uh, issued a certificate of public good that, that no town permit is required. Right. And th this new bylaw Says does that. have that. That right. if there, the, you know, a cell tower applicant has the certificate of public good, then, you know, they're, they're golden. Right. But I think they still have to meet the... Um, setbacks and you know do some of the provisions that are in this bylaw okay. so we'll, we'll hear more about this mm -hmm. so we need don't ta have to take any action on that tonight um, oh under mm -hmm. other business um, the Planning Commission they're going to have a uh, I'm not sure exactly it's a forum or just a public discussion on uh, the topic of short-term rentals. And this is going to be on June 6th at the community center. And uh, I believe it's, I'm not sure of the time. I think it's 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, so it'll be just the day before our next meeting. Right. And it will be in West Dummerston. I have 7 p.m. Okay. Good. On that, I talked to Roger, um, the zoning administrator today. I think he plans on sending his letter next week. Okay. He's getting a little input back from, I think he had asked the DRB just to read it. Great. Um, and his, his intent was to mail that next week. Okay. He identifies to anyone that he knows of that right. is right. That he's doing short-term run. Yeah. Okay. That has it. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. I'm glad he got in touch with the DRB on that. Yeah. 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 Um, and I noticed you didn't use his last name. What's that? I, I noticed that you didn't use Ross, his last Roger name. Roger Casillas. What? <laughs> Roger, right? Yeah, right, right. That's what I say. I say Roger, the zoning administrator, just so people know who we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I think I can pronounce it right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, any other business? Do you? No. No? How um, do you want oh, to put the um, social service policy on the next agenda? Are you guys ready to talk about that, or do you want to wait till the end of June? Um, how about we have um, a couple people coming to our next meeting, um, and if we have uh, a suggestion's been made to invite 
our representatives to the Wyndham Solid Waste Management okay. District to our next meeting to talk about um, options for um, recycling once these recycling bins at the town garage go away at the end of June. Okay. So I think we'll be busy next, so later in June. Okay. So I would like to, but I would like, to hopefully we'll start talking some budget stuff. I'm just going to say by August this year. Okay. <laughs> you want to get a head start. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least start. To, yes. I yeah. Think okay. A little bit. You know, at least some of these things, I think we need to at least break it out. Look, anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, um, but I would like to get that social service policy, you know, in discussion. And is that something if it, that's voted on just with us by the board, correct, for the policy? Okay. And then, um, how do we want to go? I would like to on the agenda start putting a discussion on how we want to go forward with approving the budget because that would require either a next town meeting to put that as a vote or mm -hmm. have a special town meeting mm -hmm. to do that as a vote so um to vote on the budget as australian right to let australian everybody vote on the ballot. budget you have, have an opportunity so basically it's it's a repeat of how we did the fire station vote. yeah we move any budgetary item to do that so i mean i guess my question would be um do we put that on the agenda to just make it a discussion amongst, and then people can come or how, what, I, I guess uh, to get this started, I need to start so, the ball rolling. I wonder if that might be something where we try to get the word out yeah. for a while and, um, you know, even have a public forum mm -hmm. on it to get people uh, talking about it and, you know, hear from you know, people, what mm -hmm. they want to do. So mm -hmm. maybe that's something we can do during this summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right. So short-term rentals next Tuesday. No, no. Um, the June 6th six. Six yeah. at Community mm -hmm. Center. Um, Next Tuesday is the Act 64 meeting in towns in which I'm going to try to go to. Okay, and I think next Tuesday is the Memorial Day service at the Grange. Yes, and I went last year. I did too. And Joe did. Went, also, and Joe did, yeah, yeah, and they really appreciate select board members mm -hmm. there. Thank you. And it was a real year. good yeah. time. I will, it was. It was. Yeah. I was quite inspired yeah. Yeah. by the what, music and. Yeah. Do you know what time that is? It's because actually... Wasn't it last year like at five or something? Because uh, I went the year before. But I you would think that it would have been it, it's, here. I May, think. Pettigrew. Traditional Memorial Day. Evening Star Grange. 7.30. Wow. Okay. It's a late which, night. which time is that? Uh, Tuesday, the 30th. This says May. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, it does. May 30th. Yeah, I'm sorry. May. Tuesday. May 30th. It's the day after. Oh, so it's Tuesday. Yes, that's... It's not that's, on Memorial Day. Well, that is Memorial Day. Tuesday is Memorial Day? Yes. Even yeah. though Monday is the holiday. Monday is... Yes. yes. Oh. So this is the okay. real thing. The real thing. Traditional Memorial Day, Evening Star Grange, 7.30. Does it say who the speaker is this year? Nope. Okay. No. Right. There was a very good speaker last... You know, featured speaker of last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very... Good speaker, good yeah. singing. Boy, if oh. you want, if you enjoy singing, oh this is a good place to go. This makes me cry yeah, yeah. every time. Yeah. And the uh, band from Very enthusiastic. Keen was there. Uh, okay. The year before yeah. was the American Legion band from Broadway, so they had a different one last year. Uh, am I, 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 I don't want to get this I, wrong. Was I don't key? remember. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, we just know. So I'll, I'll say back off and say... Anyway. It was a great band playing. So, Evening Star Grange, May 30th, 7.30 p.m., Memorial Day service. Right. Right yep. here in Dummerson Center. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Any other things on our calendar? I guess, I guess not. Okay. And remember, recycling at the town garage ends 
uh, at the end of June. And so people can um, get uh, dump stickers or arrange with their private trash hauler to begin picking up recycling at their home. Right, but the point was made that dump stickers go uh, from July 1st to June 30th, so... Um, Don't get a dump sticker in June. Right. Because you pay for a year for one month. Right. right. So, yeah. hold on to your trash and recycle until okay. July And uh, we'll have yeah. Ask Michelle and Lester, Michelle Sherrier and Lester Dunkley to come to another meeting and they'll maybe give us the update on uh, the sticker prices and any other information. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would move we adjourn. I will second that motion. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.